Hi, Phil. Good day. How are you doing? Hi. Good, good morning. Good evening, even to you. Yes, that's good. Uh, this is Friday, so all is good. Right, Phil, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, have a conversation with us. First and foremost, let us introduce um, our own company, right, uh, who we are and um, what do we do. My name is June. For everyone tuning into the podcast, I'm from an engineering company called No Deviation. So No Deviation was set up since 2007. It started as a request of our customers uh, to be based in Singapore. We've evolved from a one-man company and today we are an engineering company at uh, with a global presence with about 100 consultants all over the world. Uh, based on our years of uh, project experience with multiple companies, our focus is to deliver value adding, um, commissioning, qualification and validation services as a uh, leading experts to develop the lean CQB methodology. Over to you, Phil. Hi, uh, my name is Phil Jarvis. I'm a uh, director of integrated CQ and digital validation solutions here at Vector. Uh, Vector is a, again, very similar to no deviation. Um, we provide value add solutions for um, the life science industry for the likes of risk based CQ, um, also automation and uh, digital validation services through our partnership through Meet. And uh, now we have a partnership with No Deviation, which we're going to discuss today as well. Very good. Thanks, Phil. Again, I would like to thank you for taking the time to join us on the podcast. And of course, congratulations on your recent publication, How Vector and Need Digitize Risk-Based CSV for Decra Pharmaceutical PLC Faster Than Ever. Um, it was indeed an interesting read, but uh, what is better than hearing it from the horse's mouth itself, right? So in this podcast, we'll be going through some of the questions to share some insights on the deployment to DECRA, right? So of course, the very first questions that, that uh, I would be asking is, who is DECRA? What does DECRA do in a general form and format? So uh, DECRA are a company that is based, um, the site that we're dealing with is based in the UK. They have a global presence. And they're mostly in the sort of veterinary sort of pharm pharmaceutical space. So they were looking to create a more centralized digital validation solution for their CSV, where they are expanding their global presence at the moment so that they really have access globally to, to work on projects in the CSV space. Right. So why did DECRA choose to select out of the box methodology? I mean, like... Uh of all the times we, we know need deployment would be from scratch, from grounds up. Can you share with our audiences here, why, do you, why, why did DECRA choose to go down this um, new revolutionary method? Yes, it's a really good question. So when we were discussing options um, with NEAT and with DECRA, they were really looking for a solution that would be able to deliver on a specific project in time. So they wanted to prove out uh, digital validation and the efficiencies on a very specific project, which was a project for a submissions module, electronic submissions module. And they had a very specific timeline for that. So when they sat down with NEAT and looked at custom rollout of NEAT, that wouldn't necessarily have hit an implementation timeline to use on that project. So they began discussing other options with NEAT, and that's where they said we have a partner who's Vector that have digital CSV solution that is out of the box. It's already fit for purpose and, and certified by NEAT and themselves. They got talking to us because we um, using that methodology, we can cut down the implementation timeline. We thought approximately about six weeks. And that allowed them to hit their timeline um, to use NEAT for that specific project to prove out the ROI of using a digital validation system. Mm. That's, that's a few good points on why they've selected out of box methodology. I suppose like there are some of the points that you have spoken that uh, my follow-up questions would definitely have you elaborating on them a bit further. The next question would be like uh, to touch point on one of the things that you have said that DECRA was on a timeline to deploy NEAT, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the points that you mentioned as well was it saves time, right? And it's yeah. faster. It could be within a certain time. Now, 
Tell us a little bit more, why does out-of-the-box solution uh, developed by Vector takes less time um, than a configured implementation? It's a really good question. This is the value add of the solution. So typically when Neat or ourselves or yourselves um, go into a client and uh, do a custom implementation, you're sitting down with the client, you're going through their process, you're trying to digitize their process, usually from paper or another system on onto a neat digital system. And that takes actually quite a lot of the implementation time. Uh, it usually takes maybe first, maybe four or five weeks of the implementation. We see a, a custom implementation usually taking anywhere between 12 to 15 weeks. So it's like almost the first third of the project is 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 basically process mapping and setting up the solution for them. With the out of the box solution, uh, what we do is we show the customer what is in the out of the box solution first, so they know what they're getting. They compare that against their process, and they're able to say okay, this meets the intent of what I want to do, which is exactly what DECRA did. They were able to say, okay, this covers our CSV process at the moment. In fact, it upgrades it in, in places to a more a risk-based approach. And then they're able to say, okay, maybe there's only one or two things missing. And we're able to put those one or two templates or processes in, into the, the solution on a time and materials basis. So it's, it's really cutting down that first process mapping stage because you're bypassing it all of that configuration has already been done it's already out of the box as a solution for the client i definitely do hear what you say because as a neat implementation partner as yourself we do see that sometimes it does take a lot of time trying to agree on something that is uh, we could have developed up front and if it is suitable for intended use definitely that could be somewhat um, picked up as out of the box solution right so definitely echo that sentiment there the, the other thing is you know the client has a customization as well so the templates that we set up in the out of the box solution can be customized like for, for the logo of the company for some specific library properties as well that they want like maybe they need their sites to come in like into their protocols uh, automatically stuff like that so there is a certain amount of customization that is allowable as well no, from what we are talking now is mainly around the major benefit, which is apparent to every of our audience, which is time saving, get to using it quicker. The next question really does drill down a little bit more. What was the main benefit to DECRA be besides the time savings, right? So there are a couple of points I can think of. So just want to listen to from your point of view. What were the things that uh, DECRA seems to have benefited from the out-of-the-box solution? So other than the time savings, we actually got a lot of very good feedback from DECRA, which is discussed in the case study on NEAT's website. We also supply, as part of the service, what we call a turnover pack. So this is all the SOPs required for the use of the system and the process, and also all of the CSV SOPs as well, which helps the company actually validate the solution for, for, for their intended use. So DECRA found that very, very beneficial uh, because it meant within the six-week timeline that we implemented it, we also had the SOPs for their learning and training system, but also we were able in that six weeks to complete their own internal CSV validation of the NEAT solution as well. So they found that real value add. The project was like a turnkey solution. So not only did they take the content out of the box, not only did they receive the top, but we, as yourselves, an academy specialist, uh, we have master trainers uh, with, within the company. So we actually also performed all of the training of the staff as well as part of the solution. And the other thing that we provided is what we call hypercare. So usually when a company implements NEAT, especially when they want to use it on a project straight away, there may be some apprehension with that, of using um, the, the, the solution for the first time in such a yes, intensive manner. So we provide hypercare. So we have an expert that basically is contracted for a, a certain amount of hours for a certain amount of weeks after the effort. They help them with any troubleshooting, any optimization of templates that they, they find when they're using it for the first time. And they also found that really effective because 
it may enable them to pretty much use the system for that intense project straight away uh, without having that sort of downside to it. The other thing is, especially for this project that they're using Neaton to prove out the ROI, and this is discussed in depth with the, uh, Lee's comments on the uh, case study, is it allowed for some other fringe benefits as well, other than just um, the, 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 the timeline that we've discussed. They found that they found a lot of ROI around uh, the fact that Neat enabled fully remote execution. So usually in their paper-based scenario where they're, where they're validating this EVA submissions module, they would have had to have people come literally to site to execute the training, even though that's not particularly re required, just because you know, you would have to, usually in the paper-based process, send the paper from one person to another for review and execution, et cetera. So um, this enabled fully remote execution, which cut down on travel costs, expenses, et cetera. So he found great value in that within the solution as well. And most importantly, it enabled them to be ready for the submissions management system project to basically complete that project in a record time. So they got through that project much quicker than they thought they would do. And that's because not only were they using the efficiencies of the digital validation solution, not only were they using the remote execution, but they're able to cut down on things like cycle times for approvals. And by using a risk-based approach, they got a certain amount of efficiencies as well. That is really a lot of benefits that we're seeing other than those uh, time, the apparent time saving. It's really interesting that how Vector managed to package all of your many deployment experience into something, into a solution, out of the box solution that a company like Decra could benefit from it immediately because there are things that they, during a normal deployment that they would need to establish, for example, the SOP, the training, the support systems, right? So I'm really, really excited, you know, to see, to, to see that uh, Vector has bring on all this experience and getting the customer started as fast as they can. It's really amazing how, how you manage to bring down a normal deployment timing from a 15 to 16 weeks down to a six weeks duration and getting them go live. That is really something to be proud of, right? Thank you. <laughs> Another thing, you know, like we've been speaking about all the good stuff about out of the box solution, about the time savings, about the benefits, the main benefits and the fringe benefits. I think a lot of audience would also be, be thinking at the moment, what were the challenges that were present during the project? Evidently, it is a, a project with time timeline and you're compressing what we normally do in 16 weeks to down to six weeks. So could you just share with audiences what were the challenges that were present and how did you guys overcome it? So just to go back to a point that you just made as well, we have done multiple implementations now of our out-of-box solutions since we came with it. So what we do with every client is we do a lessons learned at the end of the project. So we're always evolving to try and make this solution more value-add for the customer. So it's great that we have those sessions uh, with the client and we're constantly evolving the solution to make it more and more effective. But yeah, we do have challenges every time we have something to learn. <laughs> and, you know, uh, NEAT is constantly evolving, like, you know, as well, you know, there's constantly new functionality that we can make things more and more effective uh, with the solution. So at the end of the project, we did a lessons learned with Lee and the DECRA um, client, uh, how we can make things more efficient for them in the future, because it looks like we'll be involved in more expansion now with this solution. Now they've proved their ROI. So we want to, you know, work as effectively as possible with the client. One of the things that we're going to work on, I think, with the next implementation is at the start of the project, the client's team, they have very limited knowledge of the neat solution. So really to get them the most benefit out of the project, it would make sense to train those people as intensively as possible at the beginning of the project. So what we had done uh, with DECRA is we had done some demos at the beginning of the project to get them used to the solution 
used to the functionality and also they had gone through the end user training with Neat. But I think some of the feedback was to actually go a step further for especially the core members of the team to have more of the power user training, which, as you know, June, um, is much more involved and involves the setup of the templates and how you get into almost the process mapping. And I think some of the, the feedback from the client was if we had had that right at the beginning of the project, um, they may have had a bit more of an in-depth understanding of the solution. So that's something we're going to take on board. Um, also in the project, it was quite complex because we had a lot of geographies. Our neat PM was over in the States. Um, it was run out of the Vector Island team uh, and the client was in the UK as well. So we had different geographies, different time zones to deal with. Um, and on the PM side, it was a very intense project, six weeks to get a lot into. So what we decided is we need more touch points from a PM point of view because things were, were changing very, very rapidly. I think we had like weekly touch program, but I think we needed some more informal and frequent back and forth between the three parties as well, just to ensure that any adjustments to the schedule highly visible to all parties. But apart from that, that was pretty much the only challenges that we had. Uh, but we did hit the six week time frame uh, that, that, that we planned to. And to be quite honest, we probably could have taken a week off that as well, because there was some, some time right at the end of the project for a week where people weren't available to approve critical documents. So and that's just because of conflicting priorities. So, you know, we're, we're looking to make this solution quicker and quicker all mm. the time for our customers at the moment from these lessons learned. Well, like uh, from 16 to six weeks, are we targeting from six weeks to four weeks, Phil? <laughs> quite <laughs> possibly in the future. Quite possibly, um, right. and I, yeah, and I think, you know, what's going to enable that as well is is the evolution of NEAT as well as a solution and the, you know, they're constantly coming up with uh, new tools um, to help you implement faster. As you know, they have tools now for sort of uh, uploading entity management and mass upload of users. And that makes things much, much easier for implementers like ourselves. Yep, yep, yep. All, all I can say is like, uh, you know, I really like the approach that you guys are taking with every uh, successful deployment that you have, um, you know, a debrief, a lessons learned. I think this is in a real good effort of a continuous improvement. And I'm really confident like six weeks to four weeks is not too far away from uh, us working together to improve on the deployment, right? And uh, from what you said about the communication between the project managers, as with all project management, communication is the key. Wouldn't you agree so? Yeah, definitely. A very intense, almost sprint of a project. Yeah. What is next then for Decra? Now with instance going live, they have started to see some benefits. What is the next thing that's happening with Decra? So I think it, you get sort of the feeling in the case study that's been a very positive experience with them. And certainly that's what we get from our interaction um, with them. So it, always the plan was to um, use Neat on other projects now once they approved out the ROI and the efficiencies. So they're going ahead and now expanding to other bigger ERP project uh, that they're looking at that will be actually significantly more complex. So they're using it on the ERP project. But then they also want, like most of our clients, once they get using Neat, and I'm sure you see this, June, you know, once they get the benefits of the solution, they're looking to expand into other areas where they can get more benefits as well. So we've already had discussions with Decker on uh, expanding out into other disciplines, whether or not that's more equipment validation rather than CSV. The good thing is, as part of the package that they uh, got from us, they didn't just get the risk-based CSV templates. They get the risk-based facilities, utilities, and equipment-based uh, templates as well. And that's based off the latest ISP risk-based methodology as well. So that's quite an easy leap for them to do. And then I think they'll look at other disciplines, maybe process validation, cleaning validation, other standard disciplines afterwards to, to digitize their um, validation processes. And then the other thing is, as I said, Decra are constantly evolving, constantly growing at the moment, and they're looking at actually globalizing the solution and taking this to other sites within the organization. And as you know, 
with the neat solution. That is a very easy thing to do. Uh, it's very, very scalable. Um, you know, you can um, deploy multiple disciplines over multiple sites very, very quickly once you've had that initial implementation. All it takes is a first step in the right direction, supported by a right partner for implementation. You start to see the ROI and then uh, you want to expand to a different processes. Well said, Phil. Right. Um, a bit of a last final question here in for our podcast is, where do you see the future of out of box solution going for Vector? I wouldn't say for Vector. I'd say for Vector and No Deviation, their new partnership. You know, we've we you know we we have ideas that we've discussed now around almost uh, creating a menu of solutions for our customers. Um, now that we have that global presence between Vector and No Deviation uh, geographically, so the things that we've discussed, June, is do we now uh, look at the content in other languages? so that we can support global growth. And I think talking to our partners, Neat, there is a strong desire for that in the market. And with Vector and No Deviation coming together, we have a lot of uh, language capability within the team. So that's something I think we're going to look to leverage with our partnership. So to create content in different languages. The other thing that I see is that we are also looking consistently at expanding um, our content set. So in Vector, we've already now got our second offering, uh, which has been certified by NEAT, which is content for what we're calling automation and OT CSA. So this is risk-based automation, mostly DCS focused, but can be used for the likes of PLC and SCADA systems as well. Uh, But it also covers this new evolving um, concept of operational technology as well. So we think that is going to be a really good um, solution uh, for those sort of areas. And we want to expand out into other areas, common areas, cleaning validation, test method validation, process validation, et cetera, so that we have almost a menu that clients can come to and say, well, I want this solution, that solution, this solution. Um, so, it, it, you know, there's all different flavors for them to pick from in the end. Yeah, well, I like it that this is the point that we start talking about the partnership. Definitely agree with you with the out-of-box solution first developed by um, Vector and then the contents were great. We formed our partnership uh, earlier this year in 2023. We synergize. There's a lot of things and our value matches each other. We complement to what you have. And with our coverage in Asia, we definitely will bring something together to serve the market better. Right. So something definitely exciting. Okay, Phil, I think that's about all the questions that I have for you. Thank you very much again for your time to sharing what you have done for Vector deploying their instance in a six weeks record time with your out of the box solution for the risk-based CSV processes. For all our audience out there, thank you very much for listening to a conversation between Phil and myself. Uh, Please do check out the full published article on Vector and Neat Digitize risk-based CSV for Decra Pharmaceutical PLC faster than ever um, at neat.com. You can check out the entire article. And if there's any questions, you can always find Phil or myself. Connect with us on LinkedIn. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. Thanks, Gene. Thanks for the discussion. No worries. Till next time.